A neighborhood-based community center in Northeast Rochester has been providing a foundation for growth, empowerment, and stability for residents throughout the decades under the mission of strengthening the community one person and one family at a time. Roderick Cox Cooper is the CEO of the Community Place of Greater Rochester. Roderick, it's a pleasure to have you on today. Thanks for coming. Thanks, it's great to be here. Um, you are rather new to the Community Place, but you're not new to serving the community. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Uh, I'm a native of, of Rochester and have uh, been working professionally here since returning from graduate school probably 20 plus, 24 years now. Mm -hmm. Had to do my math very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, spent some time in, in city government uh, in the administration of uh, Mayor William Johnson. Uh, uh, was the CEO of another not-for-profit in town and have long been committed to community uh, improvement, community empowerment through boards of directors and a number of mm -hmm. other organizations. Uh, became the CEO of Community Place in 2016, so a mm -hmm. little over a year. A very good fit for you. Um, what do you tell people when you're describing the Community Place of Greater Rochester, people that don't know about, about what that is? Well, I say one of the things you just said, we strengthen the community, one person, one family at a time. Mm -hmm. And then I go on to explain how we do that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have four areas that, uh, of service that we provide. And it starts with uh, our, our young people, mm -hmm. three years old, and, and all the UPK and, 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 and school age programs, after sure. school, et cetera. We move on to family services where we help people through emergencies, mm -hmm. rental assistance, clothing, food. We have a disability services program, which folks mm -hmm. don't often know about right. with us. And then at the upper end of the age continuum, we have uh, aging services programs, programs for seniors. Mm -hmm. So in the same day, I might run into someone three years old, <laughs> I might run into someone 93 years old. Right. And that's the beauty of what we do. We do so much for so many. We serve about 10,000 people wow. every year and growing. How long has the Community Place of Greater Rochester been in existence? Well, I got to give you two answers on that. Hope you don't mind. The Community Place of Greater Rochester has its own entity uh, mm -hmm. since 2001, so we're in our 16th year. Uh, however, the Community Place is a merged organization. So mm -hmm. three prior organizations came together in 2001 to form the Community Place. Wow. They are uh, Genesee Settlement House, mm -hmm. Lewis Street Center, and East Side Community Center, three well-known settlement houses in Northeast Rochester. The longest uh, serving of those uh, and the oldest, Lewis Street, uh, founded in 1907. Mm -hmm. So we've got well over 100 years of combined service to this community. Wow. And that's really the reason why people trust us the way that they do mm -hmm. and come to us for all the things that they do. And tell us about each of your locations. You have more than one location. Yes, we have three locations, uh, all in Northeast Rochester. Uh, we are at 145 Parcells Avenue. That building is actually the former Eastside Community Center site. Mm -hmm. And so many folks who come in, they'll still say, yeah, this is Eastside. <laughs> right. uh, and we welcome that. Um, we have an administrative uh, site at, um, uh, on uh, Central Park attached to the Freddie Thomas School. Mm -hmm. And our third site is uh, actually at Carter Street. Uh, it's the city's uh, Carter Street Recreation right. Center. We are the operators of it. Uh, and we have we uh, share space there. Right. The rec programs go on, and we have some of our programs uh, mm -hmm. happening there too. Tell us about the people that you serve. You know, ages three to elderly. Well, it's anybody and it's everybody. Uh, we have a philosophy at Community Place that anyone who walks through our doors will get served. Mm -hmm. um, if we can't serve them directly, based on what we offer, we make sure that they have the telephone numbers and, and, and the contacts for where they need to go. Mm -hmm. We simply will not let anyone uh, leave our doors uh, unserved uh, and, and unfulfilled. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a, that's a challenge at sure. the same time, uh, but uh, it makes our days very busy, very interesting, uh, because our goal is to make sure we're doing everything we can mm -hmm. for everyone we come in contact with. Sure. Do you change your program offerings throughout the year? So say if you find out that more people are asking for a certain thing, do you do you have the capacity to add a program? We don't do a lot of changing and adding. Um, mm -hmm. It have to be a significant new path for us. Uh, adding programs uh, comes with a price tag, mm -hmm. and unless we have the resources to build and grow, um, we're not able to necessarily uh, move that quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and there's another challenge there as well. We know what our core business is. We know what we right. do well. Uh, one of the challenges is making sure we don't go too far outside of where sure. our expertise is so that we're not doing everything great. And that is, that is always a challenge for an organization like ours. Right. Um, what are some of the success stories that you can share? 
We have countless success stories. I mean, with mm -hmm. the, with the the diversity of folks that we serve, um, those success stories come uh, uh, very often. And I'm going to go back maybe a couple days uh, in our disability services program. And this is something that I point out because often we think of folks with developmental disabilities and we think of limitations mm -hmm. and not what the end goal should be. And for the folks we deal with, uh, and that population is essentially five years old to 25 years old and, and, and sometimes a little older, um, we're thinking about skills, we're thinking about independent living, we're thinking about employment. Mm -hmm. So I was at an event just the other day and it's uh, at some folks in our disability services program, but they're in a job club. So some of the folks are already working, jobs around town, some are doing job readiness training and trying to work. So we were in the room and they went around and talked about some of the highlights of the jobs that they have, some of the highlights of their mm -hmm. day, some of the highlights of the, of the job readiness training. And it's just a reminder that there, there are possibilities and if we put folks in the right environment, right. doesn't matter who they are, they can achieve. It's, it's the same as what you and I do. We set a goal, mm -hmm. we achieve it, then we set the next goal. And so that sure. was inspiring. And uh, there are stories like that all day, every day at Community Place. Right. What, what do the people that you serve say about the Community Place of Greater Rochester? I think the thing we hear the most is that folks know that they can count on us. Mm -hmm. uh, we are housed in several different neighborhoods, uh, uh, Beechwood, um, uh, Market View Heights, et cetera, mm -hmm. and we've been in those locations for a very long time. So folks have come to count on us. They've come to rely on us for so many things. Uh, and when in doubt, they're calling on us, they're coming to us. So that's, mm -hmm. I think, one of the things that I hear more than anything uh, is that folks say they know we're there. They know we're going to be there. They know they can come to us for help. And sure. that makes us feel really great. Mm -hmm. You mentioned earlier that if there's something that you can't provide, you put people in touch with those services and other organizations. What are some of the other community organizations that you work with? There's a long list, and uh, I could take up the rest of your time <laughs> naming them. Let me, let me just give you a few examples. Uh, I'll start with uh, what's called the Settlement Houses of Rochester Foundation. Mm -hmm. This is an organization that was formed in 2015, and it is a collaborative uh, uh, 501c3 between Baden Street, which is another settlement house, Child Settlement House, and the Community Place of Greater Rochester. Mm -hmm. So if, for instance, we come in contact with someone who maybe doesn't live in our area but may live on the west side, right. we're going to make that natural referral to the Child Settlement House. We also uh, have everyday partnerships with Baden Street, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, YMCA, uh, Rochester Rehabilitation, uh, Hillside, you name right. it. Anyone who's doing something positive, uh, we are working with them. And we've continued to try to build those relationships. Uh, I'll mention briefly uh, another model, which is the Rochester Monroe Anti-Poverty Initiative, right. uh, uh, the Action for a Better Community, mm -hmm. um, Catholic Family Center, and Community Place are all taking lead roles in that with a number of other partners around the table. Right. Really taking a, a hard look and, and a real uh, serious effort to eradicate poverty and really make some impact there. Mm -hmm. Are there any requirements for people um, to get services? Uh, do, you know, income or um, resident? We have some uh, guidelines in terms of various programs. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's very tough to, to, to give a hypothetical example. Right. The best thing that people should do is just come to us or mm -hmm. call us. Hopefully we can uh, get, get our website up on the screen or if, oh, if needed I can uh, you know, say what it is. Um, but folks just need to kind of reach out to us and then mm -hmm. we, we walk them through. We have case management staff that okay. are you know, that first step just to ter determine. Right. We're, we're not the kind of folks who will say we know what your problem is and here's the solution. Right. We want to hear from you, we want to talk to you, we want to just get a little information and then find out best how to navigate uh, that matter. So sure. uh, the answer is there, there are some guidelines and restrictions, but we always like to talk to folks first and right. make sure we understand what the best fit is. Mm -hmm. Why is this work so important for Rochester? Well, Rochester has challenges. Now, for all the beautiful things that, that exist in this city, the arts, the culture, the, the wealth, et cetera, mm -hmm. um, I know, and, and, and a lot of the viewers, I think, know, that uh, there are some challenges in Rochester, uh, be it family, uh, economic, education, mm -hmm. whatever it is, we're just not there yet as a city. Right. And anyone who thinks that we are, is, uh, you know, they're fooling themselves. So there's a lot of work to be done and organizations like ours are, are willing to step up mm -hmm. and have real conversations and then put real plans into action in terms of making a, a substantial impact. We would love uh, to shut down our programs because they weren't needed anymore. Right. We're not there yet. 
when we are, we'll call it like it is and we'll say it, mm -hmm. but we're not there yet. Well, thank you so much for coming on today and thank you for the work that you do. For more information about the Community Place of Greater Rochester, you can visit communityplace.org or call 585-327-7200.